Hamas unleashed its most significant strike in recent months, targeting the Israeli capital with rockets fired from Rafah in Gaza, reaching central Israel. The Israeli Defense Forces reported intercepting several rockets amidst the barrage. The launch site, located near two mosques, was targeted by the IAF shortly after. This incident highlights Hamas's ongoing use of civilian areas for its terrorist activities, including attacks on Israeli civilians. The rocket fire, triggering air raid sirens as far as Tel Aviv, marked a notable escalation after months of relative calm amidst Israel's extensive military operations. Despite the intensity of the attack, there were no immediate reports of casualties or damage, signaling the first long-range rocket assault from Gaza since January. While sporadic rocket and mortar fire towards Gaza border communities persisted, Hamas's military wing claimed responsibility for this heightened assault, with rocket launches audible in central Gaza. According to the IDF, the rockets originated from the southern Gaza city of Rafah, where Israeli forces recently conducted an incursion. The military stated that a number of projectiles were successfully intercepted, mitigating potential damage. Today, Hamas terrorists in Gaza fired eight rockets at central Israel from Rafah, sending millions of Israelis to bomb shelters. Hamas launched these rockets from near two mosques in Rafah. Hamas has been attacking Israel from Rafah, and Hamas has been holding, in our, in, holding our hostages in Rafah, which is why we have been conducting a precise operation in Rafah. Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, asserts the necessity for Israel to assert control over Rafah to eradicate Hamas's remaining battalions and secure total victory. This comes as Hamas recently regrouped in other parts of Gaza, where the Israeli military has been active. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant delivered a similar message to troops in Rafah on Sunday, emphasizing the objective of the operation to destroy Hamas and secure the release of hostages. Remember, your job is to eliminate Hamas to win this campaign. Our job is to take it to the next level in Gaza Strip and across the Middle East. These issues are connected. The Israeli government faces mounting pressure to negotiate with Hamas for the release of remaining hostages. However, Hamas has refused to entertain such negotiations without guarantees for an end to the conflict and a complete withdrawal of Israeli forces. Regarding the hostages issue, we are making tremendous efforts. We did until now, and we continue to do so, and we will continue to do so in the future in every possible way, physically and by reaching agreements. Hamas is holding 125 of our people hostage across our border in Gaza. We will not stop fighting for their freedom. This is what any decent country in the world would do, the same as us. In Tel Aviv, thousands gathered on Saturday to protest against the Israeli government's perceived inaction regarding hostages held by Hamas. The demonstrators called for more robust measures to secure the release of hostages and demanded the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, urging new elections.